What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. Today we are going to take a quick look at the Showtime Spanish League players that are on selection. So we've got a phenomenal finishing Robert Lewandowski, 98 overall. We're going to get into him in a second. We also have Araujo and we have a Kubo. There's been a couple of different cards that have released for all of these players, right? We'll take a look over on eFootballDB in a second, just to give you a quick uh, example of that. So, I mean, personally for me, I'm going to go straight off and say that apart from Lewandowski, if you're looking for a pretty decent finishing, wing, uh, finishing striker, I mean, I'm kind of fairly disappointed with this card. And you can see there straight off that even though he's got 88 finishing, right? And we're just going to take a look at his standard card, right? Without even training him up. Because I don't even think that Lewandowski is really a viable option when you compare him to... I mean, even his standard version. I mean, his standard version is quite solid. You know, his standard card has got like 84 offensive awareness. This version of Lewandowski has got 86. His finishing is 86 for his standard card. This version is 88. And then the pace and the speed is pretty much identical. The only thing that kind of is a little bit improved on this card compared to his standard card, I think is the fact, obviously, of the player's skills. He's got a couple of more levels to go. And also because of that phenomenal finishing. But I mean, even his standard card, lads, is is so similar to this card, I think, for a big time showtime. I would have liked to seen like a hundred rated Lewandowski, you know, with that offensive awareness really high. Because as I said before, right, if you're popping in 10 into dexterity to go to 70 acceleration, 81 balance, and 96 offensive awareness, and then also another 10 into finishing, right? You're going to have a 98 finisher, a 97 finisher, or whatever you want to do with it. I mean, even at that, like, you're not really going to have a top, top, top class player, um, because you won't have that many progression points left. And we can see that similarly with this card here that we have, right? So this is the Lewandowski card that they released, just to compare them, the Barcelona club pack, right? And this is why I think we should probably wait for the club packs. This guy maxes out at 24 four levels but you can see there that the shooting and the dexterity are almost identical right you've got a little actually a bit more acceleration and uh, balance and, and stuff other stuff with this card right but the biggest problem I think with this card is the fact that he's kind of like going to be not that good in the air um even though he's 185 he does have heading he does have acrobatic finishing I think the first time shot and phenomenal finishing is that enough to get this card I don't know, lads. I honestly don't think so. I mean, yes, he's a goal poacher, but are you really going to play him ahead of somebody that you're used to playing with in the air? Will he score goals for you? Yeah, but the standard card will be more than enough, right? We will get into that when we do a training guide on it. This is just a brief overview of it um, while the lads wait to do the DB. Araujo is an interesting one, right? So he's had multiple cards released uh, over the last couple of weeks and months, right, with the game. And I do think on the surface, he looks really nice. But again, you don't have that uh, showtime player skill, which does kind of take you out a little bit. And he also doesn't have really anything else going for him uh, other than, you know, a couple of levels that you can train. He goes 29 levels, which is quite decent. He's down as a destroyer. He does have blocker and interception and he has unwavering form. So I think he is probably, you know, one of the players that if you are not settled on a center back, right, if you've got a center back and you're not really settled on him, you can have a player here that's extremely good, right? Um, and when I say extremely good, you're not going to have a meta center back here, but he does have the speed, the acceleration, everything that you could possibly want is here, including heading, right? So when you look at Lewandowski and you're saying, yeah, it's Lewandowski, he's going to bang goals in for me. I think Araujo with that 84 tackling, right? 77 speed. The only card that really compares to him, right? Um, as I said, while the DB is updated with the new cards, is this version of him that's here, right? Which is quite decent, but it only has 19 levels. So you've got a 10 more levels to kind of play around with here um, if you wanted to go that route. And defensively, you can get him pretty solid. You know, you can get the 75 uh, dexterity. You can get a couple of heading uh, if you want to go that route as well. You can also get good jump, even though he's really tall and he is a destroyer. So, I mean, the problem with him, as I said at the start, is that he does not have a fortress or he does not have any of the new player skills. And I think these player skills are going to come into the fore more so when eFootball 2024 comes out. He does have blocker and interception and aerial superiority and heading. So he has everything. He doesn't have man marking, but you are going to be playing him. I would recommend playing him in part of a back three. That would be where I would go with him, right? 
29 levels to go is huge. As I said, you've got 10 extra levels compared to the Barcelona club pack that they did release of him. So you are going to be bringing him up into the high 90s. As you can see there, he goes to 97 overall. And he's actually going to be a very dominant center half because you're going to have everything. Like if you tur if you pop in 13 levels or 13 points um, into him there, uh, you're going to have a very dominant player where it's only going to take what? I mean, it's going to take, if you want to t pop in 13 levels, it's probably going to take you know, maybe about 30 points, maybe about 26, 27 points uh, of your progression points, but you still have more than enough to get everything into the 90s defensively. That will mean that your defensive engagement, your awareness and your aggression is going to be all around 90 mark. And then your, your tackling is going to be like 96, 97. And you'll still be able to get heading into the 90 zone and also the physical contact and the jumping and the, and the acceleration all, you know, mid to, mid to mid seventies for the acceleration and speed and then nineties or eighties for the rest of the stats. So I definitely think he is a monster in the game. Um, I've had him on my road to glory and he's been a beast. Even his standard card, this card that they released with the 20 levels, just to show you there, that card was actually quite similar, um, except that you've got way more levels. So as I said, if you pop 13 into that, that's kind of similar stats that you're going to get while still being able to get that dexterity um, a little bit higher. And then also the... Uh, the jumping and the header. Now remember that you're going to have nine extra levels to go with this. So that's kind of where the, the achievement is going to come if you are able to get him um, and, and train him up well. And then last but not least, we have Kubo, right? So Kubo is down as a creative playmaker. Uh, he's had various multiple additions and a good variety. He's got 41 levels to go, which is quite intriguing. I will do a training guide on him very, very soon. Um, he starts off at a 79 overall. So that kind of puts him on track with his epic card right which is down as a winger this epic card here which is down as a winger um but he's only got 31 levels the epic card okay so you know you have to go with the other standard card he's got 29 levels there you're going to have a whopping 41 levels on this card so you're going to be able to max out his acceleration pretty much his speed his finishing his dipping shot i would probably play this guy lads as a right midfielder or a, as a right winger and not focus too much on passing with him he does have one touch pass true pass and outside curler but he also has double touch and he also has amazing run and incisive run which is why i would probably throw on a couple of more skills on his player i will do that with the training guide we will add the additional skills i would throw on kubo um, and just have him as a blistering kind of winger, right? But yeah, I mean, you can play him anywhere you want, really. It's a fairly good pack. We also have included in that pack, I will do a training guide on these. We have these new cards as well, which they're called Highlight Spanish League. Um, these kind of seem to be like, you know, player of the week, player of the season type players. You've got a couple of random ones in there. Um as well kind of like the fans choice but not really the fans choice so to speak right rodrigo rudiger are both in there i mean this rudiger i will do a training guide on him he looks like an absolute beast as well pretty similar to other cards that they've released but he is a destroyer and it is a chance to get a player with 365 days of a contract so let me know your thoughts on the big time this week lads i mean they are kind of strange choices araujo kubo and Lewandowski. there are probably other players that they could have picked but let me know your choice uh whether you'll spin or not and i will talk to you in a bit